Hello everyone and welcome to today's video, where we are going to be discussing a book Healing is the New High by Vex King. Vex King introduces himself and his personal journey towards healing. He explains the concept of healing as the new high, and how it has transformed his life. He also shares his reasons for writing the book, which is to help others who are struggling with their own healing process. Understanding Healing What healing is and why it is important he talks about the different types of healing, including emotional, mental, physical, and spiritual healing. He also discusses the effects of trauma and stress on the body, and the importance of addressing these issues in order to heal. The interconnectedness of different aspects of our lives and how they impact our overall well-being. He explains that healing is not just a one-time event, but a continual process of self-discovery and growth. Finally, King emphasizes that healing is not a linear process and that setbacks and challenges are a natural part of the journey. He encourages readers to have patience, self-compassion, and perseverance in their healing journey. The Power of Thoughts He explores the power of thoughts and how they can impact our lives. He discusses the concept of the law of attraction, and how our thoughts and beliefs can shape our reality. He also offers practical tips for changing negative thought patterns and creating a more positive mindset. He provides practical tips for changing negative thought patterns, such as identifying and challenging negative beliefs, reframing negative thoughts into positive ones, and practicing gratitude. King emphasizes that positive thinking is not about denying or suppressing negative emotions, but rather acknowledging them and choosing to focus on positive perspectives. He also discusses the impact of self-talk on our self-esteem and self-worth. He encourages readers to practice self-compassion and speak to themselves with kindness and encouragement. By changing our thought patterns, we can shift our mindset and create a more positive and fulfilling life. Self-love He emphasizes the importance of self-love in the healing process. He talks about the negative beliefs and patterns that can hold us back from loving ourselves fully, and provides exercises and techniques for cultivating self-love. King offers practical exercises and techniques for cultivating self-love, such as affirmations, self-care, and setting boundaries. He emphasizes that self-love is not selfish, but rather a necessary component of our overall well-being. By loving and accepting ourselves, we can improve our relationships with others, set healthy boundaries, and pursue our goals and passions. By acknowledging and healing from past traumas and negative experiences, we can cultivate a more positive and compassionate attitude towards ourselves. Forgiveness He discusses the power of forgiveness and its role in healing. He talks about the different types of forgiveness, including self-forgiveness, and shares techniques for letting go of resentment and anger towards others. Gratitude He discusses the concept of gratitude and how it can transform our lives. He discusses the benefits of practicing gratitude, and provides exercises and techniques for cultivating a grateful mindset. The importance of embracing gratitude as a way of life, rather than just a temporary practice. He encourages readers to integrate gratitude into their daily routines, such as starting the day with a gratitude practice or expressing gratitude before meals. By cultivating a grateful mindset, we can shift our perspective and focus on the abundance and positivity in our lives. This can lead to greater happiness, fulfillment, and resilience in the face of challenges. Mindfulness he discusses the practice of mindfulness and its role in the healing process. He talks about the benefits of being present in the moment, and offers techniques for incorporating mindfulness into our daily lives. Spiritual Healing He explores the concept of spiritual healing and its role in the healing process. He discusses the different ways in which we can connect with our spirituality, and offers exercises and techniques for exploring our spiritual selves. The impact of spirituality on our overall well-being, including mental, emotional, and physical health. He provides practical techniques for cultivating a spiritual practice, such as meditation, prayer, and mindfulness. 
He emphasizes that spiritual healing involves embracing our authentic selves and connecting with something greater than ourselves. The impact of negative beliefs and patterns on our spiritual health, such as fear, doubt, and attachment to material possessions. He encourages readers to let go of these negative beliefs and embrace a more spiritual perspective on life. By connecting with our inner selves and the divine, we can find greater purpose, meaning, and fulfillment in our lives. Ultimately, spiritual healing is a personal journey towards greater self-awareness and inner peace. By embracing our spiritual selves and connecting with the divine, we can cultivate a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment in our lives. Building Resilience In this he talks about the importance of resilience in the healing process. He explains that resilience is the ability to bounce back from challenges and difficulties, rather than being overcome by them. He emphasizes that resilience is not a fixed trait, but rather a skill that can be developed and strengthened over time. He provides practical tips for building resilience, such as cultivating a positive mindset, practicing self-care, and seeking support from others. He also emphasizes the importance of facing challenges head-on, rather than avoiding or denying them. By embracing challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, we can develop greater resilience and confidence in our abilities. The impact of negative beliefs and patterns on our ability to build resilience, such as self-doubt, fear, and limiting beliefs. He encourages readers to challenge these negative beliefs and embrace a growth mindset. By reframing challenges as opportunities for growth, we can develop a greater sense of resilience and confidence in our abilities. Ultimately, building resilience is a journey towards greater inner strength and self-confidence. By embracing challenges as opportunities for growth and learning, and by practicing self-care and seeking support from others, we can develop greater resilience and bounce back from adversity with greater ease and confidence. Moving forward. Finally, he offers guidance for moving forward in the healing process. He discusses the importance of taking action and making positive changes in our lives, and offers practical tips for creating a sustainable healing journey. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this.